Hey guys, I'm David Haynes and welcome to the Love Futsal YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to talk about a useful goalkeeper technique that some like to call the K-shape save. This is when one knee is on the floor and the other, knee, the other leg is vertical, therefore creating a barrier. Right, in using the K-shaped save, there's two details that we must keep in mind. The very first is the standing leg cannot be too far away from the kneeling leg. What I mean by this is if you leave a big old gap here, I guarantee the ball will go through your legs. So, try and bring it in close. So this, there's an almost watertight gap, maybe the size of your fist, but certainly no bigger than that. And this way, this will ensure the ball doesn't go through you. And remember, if you use your hands, big, low, sweeping through, uh, then there's almost nowhere that this ball can get through. You create a massive wall, so you're coming out like that, and your feet together. If you leave the gap here, I guarantee the ball will go through you. The second thing to keep in mind is the knee doesn't actually touch the floor. It's instead hovered ever so slightly above it. So when you drop down, it goes to about here. Obviously it has to be low enough so the ball does not go under you. It's no good at being here. But bring it down, don't ground the knee. The reason we do this is if you do ground the knee, it's very, very difficult to get back up and you end up anchoring yourself on the floor. So if there is a rebound, there's almost no chance you get up quickly enough in order to make the second save. If you hover the knee instead, it's a much, much faster technique and then you can move between both and basically you're in a position to make another save if required. So remember, keep that nice and tight and keep that knee off the ground. So I've had a couple of questions in. People ask me, which knee should you drop down on? Well, this depends on two things. The first is the angle the attacker is coming from. So if they're coming in from the left or the right or directly central. The second thing that's important is which foot is the striker. If they're left footed or if they're right footed, it can change, especially if they're coming directly at you, which knee you should go down on. So I'm gonna show these in a couple of practical examples. So when the attacker is coming down from the side, you keep the leg that's against the near post straight and then you bend the knee that's on the far post. This means you cover a huge amount of area. If it was the other side, you'd bend the other knee. So the one that's on the near post is always the straight one. I'll give you an example of this and I'll show you just how much of the goal that I can cover. So you get ready. The striker is coming down your side. So imagine that you're the striker and then imagine trying to get the ball past me. I come out, go down and I make sure I bring my arms down with me so there's very little space that they can shoot low past. If I have my arms up here, they can still score past this area. But if I bring my arms as well, I have the near post covered with this leg. It's not getting under me. It's not getting through me. He can maybe curl it around, but that's a damn good goal if he does. Other than that, I have an awful lot of the goal covered. So I will show you from the other side, just for completeness. This time we're going down with our other leg, but the one that's on the near post remains the straight one. Have a look. So the striker is coming down this side this time. Imagine you're the striker. I will come out, down with that. Therefore my straight leg is covering the near post. Back leg is covering a lot of the far. Bring my arms through, and there's only a very small position that this striker is going to score from. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe for more videos. There are plenty more coming your way.